two of our two can study. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's try and mix his uh, colour for his bib here. And I'm basically going directly onto the canvas here. I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to the bottom of the bib here. Just and I'll just do it directly like that. I don't think there's any reason to work it in too much. Right, now onto the eye part. This we're going to do with a bit of lemon yellow. Now take your time around the eye. Try not to contaminate any of the other colours. I'm just going to pop a little bit of orange around the outside. Alright, now let's uh, move to the bird's uh, the skin around his eye or his law and um, we're going to put a little bit of I would say Pathello around that okay now let's uh, do his little um, the rim around his eye here or his eyelid and I'm just going to mix up that same color but I'm going to mix a little bit of white into it okay let's move on to our black now And this is really going to pull the painting together. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of colour, uh, a bit of white to make a bit of a grey here. Um, just because, again, I don't want to lose the bird. So I just want him just to be there. So most of this grey will be turned into a, a very dark colour anyway. But so just blend this, blend the black through the grey there. I mean oils don't dry real quickly so you've got plenty of time to do that. Okay I'm going to do the eye here now. The eye of our friend obviously just using 100% black and you probably all know but the toucan uh, lives in South America and they're actually related to the woodpecker use the end of your brush to dip into the white and blot into the eye for a highlight now I'm just going to use, move on to the light beige with this and I'm using a Montmartre um, Taclon Deerfoot. This is a very soft bristle um, and so it'll be nice for, for um, going over an already damp colour but with some nice soft edge. So we're going to mi mix up a nice beige colour here. So there's no real secret to this, just um, try and blend it in with the underlying paint which will still be wet so this is probably the only case where we've done apart from the branch here where we've gone over some already wet stuff but um, just keep working it through now I'm going to mix in a bit more red here Now with the feet, I'm just going to suggest um, 
the feet with some blocks of colour because it's on hair and palette knife thing and I want to create a little bit of look of 3D too. Right. Well, didn't that turn out fantastic? I really hope you enjoyed this project, and until next time, keep on painting.